Everybody, we're back with Bonita. <laughs> come on in, Jim. Well, come on and slam and welcome to the gym. Uh, hey, everybody. What was that voice? I, I like that. Welcome no, back. It sounded... Hi, welcome. welcome back. Hi, everybody. And welcome like back to Beneath the Tide after our week break. <laughs> did you one shot last week? If you haven't seen the one shot we played last week, go check it out. Garrett DM'd it. It was a lot of fucking fun. It was chaotic. It was great. So go check it out. It was called Greenhorns. Everyone plays kobolds. And if you're also looking for content to watch, why not watch the first part of our Tomb of Horrors run through that we're doing on our 7 p.m. slot on Wednesdays? But we're doing it highly under leveled for Tomb of Horrors. We're doing it at fifth level. Hmm. It's a lot of fun. So go check it out. Part two will be next week. And the winner and loser of that one shot series are going to win some uh, prizes. So it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of people died today. It was really great. Um, Do you just have like a tally yep. of how many times on each person has died? On the stream. Yep. Oh, um, excellent. Um, it's, it's My so time is coming. Soon. <laughs> Very soon. Uh, All spell slots gone. <laughs> if you like podcasts, though, you can check out Mimics and Monstrosities on Podbean, I, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. And listen to all the demystifying DMing episodes. And you can listen all the way up to last week's episode of last episode of Beneath the Tide, episode 52, just in preparation for episode 53, this week's episode of Beneath the Tide, to come out tomorrow. So check it out. Download those episodes. We're like 480 some odd total downloads. Uh, download is more. Give me your lifeblood. Uh... And check out Demystifying DMing, because a new episode is going to come sometime. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Sam's working from home, I think, so he's busy. Yep. Uh, Being a teacher at home is weird. What's work like? I miss it. Uh, also, tomorrow night, we're back with Shadows Over Ravenloft. Picking up with that, the party have gone to Sithicus. So if you know what Sithicus is in Ravenloft, do you know any lore knowledge of what the Black Rose is in the Ravenloft setting? They're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow. And then Sunday, Soldiers of the Lich Queen and Descent to Avernus. We're back. As you all know, ISPs are dying right now because everyone's trying to use their internet. Mm -hmm. So everyone, they're yeah. doing caps. I think they're doing caps on ISP too. That's fun. Uh, anyways. I'm not going to recap everything that I just did. So... <laughs> no announcements. If you want to listen to the announcements, they're right there. Uh, they're in the previous one. Fuck it. Uh, last time on Bonisa the Tide, the party confronted news about the destruction of, of the heart of the fungal lich. Things did not go well, to say the least. And... Noose left the party, and Ogden kind of went along with it and made them believe that Noose punched him in the face and disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone believed it. So, the party gathered up their stuff and left the blight, blighted forest and went back to the docks, and prepared to sail away, realizing that Noose, when he left, took the Void Maw with him. And now, the party are stuck with the Veiled Psychophant, and are making their way to the settlement of Solspitza to kind of do some shopping, go see a shipwright, do some shopping, do some shopping, but also maybe look into information into healing this heart and saving the Spore Druids. And we kind of ended the session last with the party splitting up, going their own separate ways. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Noose is... Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Noose is currently with Marion Boone on Silger. 
but nobody knows that but Ogden, who is not sharing anything about that. Grump has left the party to go find news again. Uh, Eclipse, Leah, and Henry are at the opulent Opal. They've been greeted by Era Lee, who's seeing over the magic shop while Baxter is away on a mission. And Ash, Ogden, and Joseph, the little boy, have went to the shipwright Dragon Scale. So we're going to start with the Eclipse, Leah, and Henry group, I think. Uh, would you like me to also voice nope. early? Nope. Nope. You got it. Cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna do as best as I can. So you guys are friends of Baxter, yes? Uh, uh, yeah. We haven't we met? I don't before? remember you that well. Maybe in passing, you had a little goblin with you. I liked him a lot. We got we became close friends. Where is he? Oh. We have a, he actually has a membership with us, so if he was here, you guys could use his membership card and get half off everything. Um, about that, um, uh, Noose, our little goblin friend, uh, has parted ways with us. Uh, we've had a bit of a falling out recently. Oh. Still a little raw, but sometimes you just need to pull back from that and keep going until you can reconnect, if you know what I mean. Nope. Right. Um, well, <clears throat> there was uh, a note left, uh, just in case you showed up. Interesting. Ba Baxter left me a note saying if his, these people show up, trust them. They're very good at doing things, apparently, he said. Are you very good at doing things? I mean, you did kind of summon a giant tentacle monster, and she looks right at Ash. Is that way? She was there when that happened. Oh, you're not yeah. there. Yeah. Sorry, you're not there. You're not it's there. Like, but is Ash oh, no. Henry right now? Uh, yeah. Henry's there. Never mind. She doesn't say that. Oh, did she also say that? Well, you guys did kind of release a giant tentacle monster from the far realm. I don't quite remember that part. I don't uh, recognize you. What's your name? I believe that was before you I'm with us, Henry. Oh, my name is Henry Lofferton Esquire. What are you an Esquire of? Well, yeah, Esquire is the same thing. No, Esquire is a title that one has that indicates that one practices law. Why do you practice law? Why? Where? Oh, where? Um, well, that's an interesting question at the moment. I suppose on the ship would be the best way of describing it, but at the <laughs> moment I'm not quite sure what ship that even is. So, you so, don't, so your title doesn't really mean anything right now? Well, I can practice law wherever I go. There are laws everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but laws are slightly different everywhere, so you kind of have to get trained in each country's and laws. I, and I recognize and I, you and your robes. Wait, you're not there either. God damn it. Eclipse, Leah, Henry. Yeah. I'm good. It's been a while. Uh, I don't recognize while. you, little one. Oh, I'm Leah. Very nice to meet you. Okay. Anyways, um, who here? Baxter wanted me to give this to somebody who is best at handling artifacts. That would Do you have anybody be... in your group that's good at handling breakable objects like vases? And I she, mean, she pulls, up this, she pulls up this vase from like under the counter, and it's like purple, and there's like <laughs> there's like el there's like kind of like eldritchish glyphs all over it. Well, Ogden had his soul trapped in this once, I think. Okay, great. Uh, this is for Ogden Boone, then. Uh, make sure he great. gets it. Baxter will know if he didn't get it, so you don't uh, want to make him angry. He'll kill great. you, maybe. Uh, no, but give it to him. Base for Ogden. Yes, it's for Ogden Bub. It says here Ogden Bub. Boone. Uh, Boone. Boone. Yeah. 
Boone. B O O N. Boone. Okay. Um, but are you all looking for anything specific? Um, we were wondering if you had any uh, healing potions or uh, anything of that like. Not really. Purchase. Um, uh, then do you have any uh, magical weapons or also of that, anything of that like? Mostly just spell scrolls lately. Books. Okay. Uh, uh, are, are they of you two interested in anything? Looking for anything specific? I don't actually have terribly many um, coins, money. I don't have much money. Oh, sorry. So... No, no. I might have some potions in the back. Galen, can you go get them? Galen! 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 Coming! And... Oh, none of you have met him? Uh, Ogden has. Ogden's not there. I'm not there! <laughs> oh. Uh, you guys see this? <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> Twelve-year-old boy? Oh, you have a young boy. We have one of those two on our boat. Twelve? <laughs> I know, right? And you see this little boy come He's carrying magical equipment. Um, hello? Hi, I'm Galen Brownlow. Uh, nice to meet you, Galen. Hello. Wait. Was Eclipse there? Yes. Oh, I recognize you, cat lady. I think... Uh... Maybe. Oh, no, because it was... Because when For we sure. had Galen, Eerily was there. I think so. Right? Yeah, that was yep. the... Yep, he was yep. Like, never mind. Oh, okay. yeah. uh, hi, I'm Galen. Um, Where's my best <laughs> friend? Uh, I have two of them. Two best friends. Uh, One's well, a goblin, and the other is a funny man with, like, colors. Uh, well, I believe the funny man with the color is off at the uh, ship, right? Oh. Um, and the goblin is currently away doing some personal business. I'm sorry. Were you mean to him? <laughs> I don't need this kind of confrontation right now. <laughs> oh, just a little kid asking questions. Um, can I just roll a quick deception check before I say anything? Nope. Nope. Okay. Say it first and roll. Okay. Um, oh, that'll, that'll determine the DC. Um, uh, some words were said. Um, not in the uh, best of circumstances. And uh, we mutually decided that we needed some time apart from each other. <laughs> yeah, deception check. Oh, boy. Oh, heck yeah. It's a oh. 24 little 12 year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, yeah. but, and he, he basically he comes over and he's got like this. You have a bunch of scrolls under his arm. I've been, um, write, I've been writing these, I've been apprenticing. That's wonderful. Good for you. The last time my best friend saw me, I was. Eight. Now I'm twelve. Wow. <laughs> That's a uh, you're quite a growing young man, aren't you now? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, 
Uh, we'll take a look at those potions if you've got them. Okay. <laughs> we have um, potion of healing. Potions Excellent. of greater healing. Okay. And just a bunch of spell scrolls. We have one potion. I don't know what... We don't really know what its purpose is yet. We're still trying to figure it out. It's kind of an experimental one that me and Aaron Lee have been making while Baxter's been gone. <laughs> Mm. Yes, you could say it's been going quite well. We gathered a bunch of ingredients from the city and kind of been throwing it together in the back of the shop. Uh, has it uh, been um, tested at all yet? No. Nope. Right. Do you want to be like a... You can, you can test it out. Wait, what? Oh, uh, Galen, you are two years old. Oh, two. I was two years old. Cool. Nice. That yeah. was, it's been ten years? Oh, it's I been am. ten years since I saw you. Same with Baxter. And Airly as well. Oh, yes, ten years. That's right. It's been ten years since I saw all of you. I said it was two, but the mind plays tricks. It's been ten years. Yes, the, the, uh, the, uh, the Obsidian Covenant... It speeds, it's quite, the time goes there quite quickly. So uh, yes, Galen was two years old when you met. I forgot. Now he's 12? Yes, I'm 12. Yeah, he said 12. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Um, you know what? I'll just, we'll just take all four of the potions. Okay. Um, so the potion of healing is 50 gold. Okay. Potion of Greater Healing is a little more than that. Uh, the unnamed potion is 1,000. Yeah. Um, that's a little outside of our budget at the that moment. Sucks. So I think we will have to come back for it another time. Sounds like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but we will take no, it's a the... Um, Um, so, sorry, uh, just re reminiscing of prices that Baxter said, we might be getting these wrong, we might be overcharging early. No, that's okay, I don't think we are. Okay, um. She's a great businesswoman. Uh, yeah, and you can kind of see Galen's kind of dressed in like purple-ish robes. With like a gold kind of little sash, and he's kind of got like little gloves on, like he's a tr warlock in training. Um. Oh no! <laughs> who, who do you make a pact with? Yikes! Probably the same guy as Baxter. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Sorry, I gotta look up so much stuff right now. Potions. I think those are. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the potion of greater healing is 500. So, in total, if that's all you're buying is the healing potion, that's 550 gold. It's 500 for both of the greater healing potions. No, for the potion of healing, it's 50. For the greater healing, one. it's 500. Hmm. Uh, interesting, uh, price rate? Pricing rate? That's how it goes. Yeah. All right. Cool. It's a real uh, shame you don't have that membership. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, so yeah, we'll take the regular potion of healing and, uh, I guess just one potion of greater healing. 550 gold. Alright. Here you go. Alright, and she hands you Almost. one potion of healing and one potion of greater healing. Right. Thank you very much. My purse is significantly lighter now. 
We do sell some specific magic items to members as well. Uh, so if you can acquire our membership, we would gladly uh, show you the rest. And all members of the that have the Ultimate Opal membership also works with the Friends membership. And with that membership, you can actually access the portal on the back of the shop and teleport directly to the Friends shop on Ipshire, on that continent. So it's good times all around. Mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it just looks at the meager remains of her coin purse and is like, you know, I think, I think we're good for right now. Yeah. Okay. It was nice seeing you again. And she slides the vase over. Take real good care of it. Oh, I will. And remember, Baxter will know who doesn't go to who it belongs to. Uh-huh. Okay. Of course. And the two of them go back to in the back of the shop and you hear them dripping random ingredients into a cauldron like they're mixing a potion. They don't know what it is. No, I think you should put more of this in it. But Baxter said that's really volatile. <laughs> accurate. It's very accurate. It's only volatile you <laughs> if you drop it. Yeah. It really has acid resistance. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. He, he yeah. said accurate is only dangerous if you drop it. <laughs> Pouring it over her hand. <laughs> Slamming so, it. Using her fingers as a sieve. <laughs> yeah. So are you guys leaving the magic shop? And yep. you kind of are in the shop district, so across from uh, across from the Opland Opal is the tavern, the Jellied Eel, mm -hmm. and there mm -hmm. is other shops all around. But we're gonna go to the Shipwright, and that group is Ash, Ogden, and Joseph. You guys approach this kind of um, you approach this kind of shop uh, that's set up on docks, even though there are no there is no water in the settlement. Uh, and it's a huge shop. There's a huge hanging sign of a dragon's head swallowing a pirate ship. Hmm. And it says the dragon scale on it. In cursive writing. Do you, uh... Hey, uh, hey, Ash. Yeah. Do you, uh... Do you think the name is a, a double entendre? Like, do you think they, uh... They maybe, uh, weight their, their actual balance scales in their favor? When you buy materials here, do you think it's like a out in the open, like sort of goof on anyone who tries to, like, hey, guess what? You're all we're really taking advantage of you, and we're doing it in public. <laughs> uh, well, you know that's a that's a possibility, but um, I'm just wondering what kind of scales they'd be using for shipbuilding. Well, I mean, uh, any scale in commerce, you know. For, for you know, this weighs this much, it's worth this value. Am I still having trouble understanding gold? I think I am. I don't know if well, I've quite no, got it no, yet. No, I think that's 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 that could be accurate at like a grocer's or something. I'm just one. I don't think that it's just you know. I think that labor parts and labor is what you're looking at. It's not exactly economical to measure by the pound when you're doing you know wood for a ship. Uh, part parts and labor, you say parts and labor parts and labor. I'll have to file that away. File that away. Parts and parts and labor. I'm. Uh, I, I don't own a ton. I, all of my all, everything I own is antique. Labor's right. been long long forgotten. Oh, right, well, that makes sense. Wait. Yeah. Oh wait. That's not. How does Joseph talk again? Oh, Ash. <laughs> yes. Now what? Well, we're going to go inside. Okay. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got a, I guess we've got to outfit our ship with, what weapons and things just for are defense you, at least. Are you going to be a stern negotiator, Ash, with prices? Well, I suppose that's up to the acting captain, is what it's up to. Oh, that's right, Ogden. How does it feel to have responsibility thrust upon you? <laughs> Why am I getting the feeling the children are just up our ass this week? <laughs> I'm just asking a logical question. Anyways, I, I wanna. Can I buy something? I have money. Sure, you do. You. That's right. You do have money. I'm gonna buy a cannon. 
All right. And you see, like, numerous kind of, like, sailor, sailors, buccaneers, and very naval-looking individuals, red coats, scarlet banner individuals kind of coming out of the shop. They kind of do a double look around, making sure, but Ash, you're in disguise right now, I remember that. You look like just a mm -hmm. random person. And uh, they look around, and one of the Scarlet Banner members kind of sees Ogden and goes, <laughs> nice, and then just keeps walking. Uh, yeah, nice. You look nice, too. I like your, uh, your, your, your red. It's nice. <laughs> keeps walking. Hey, wow, it's a friendly place. Um, I want everybody in this group to give me perception checks. So that is... Yeah, that's just Ash, Ogden, and Joseph. <laughs> you got a 36. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, I got I got a dirty 20. Okay. 19. I think, I think Joseph got a 36. So you're both kind of like looking at the shop, and you see kind of like a recognizable symbol kind of etched into the shop sign and it's a tiny little black x that look familiar to you uh i certainly would remember that i think hmm i want to focus and try to uh remember don't know what it means that's but it looks familiar uh uh uh, out of character. That's not a uh, black mask symbol, is it? Oh. Okay, great. Perfect. So in character, I probably wouldn't know that either. Great. Awesome. Actually, uh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, no, because your, oh, your memory is no. white. About it. My memory is... It looks familiar to Ogden, but you can't quite place it. It's like there's, it's like there's a haze. It's like a hazy kind of thing. Yep. Uh, we're going to take the stream down and just record this fucking session and then do the easy way out. Oh, okay. So, back to where we were. Ash, Ogden, and Joseph standing in front of the Dragon Scale shipwrights. Uh, well, uh, after you, gentlemen. All right, let's head inside. All righty. So, y'all head inside. And it looks like a shipwright. Wood walls, wood decorations, wood floors, nautical kind of decorations all over the walls and whatnot. Um, sitting behind the counter, you see a seven foot two black scaled dragonborn covered in scars and white nautical themed tattoos. He's kind of wearing a brown leather trench coat with a pair of black silken breeches and knee-high leather boots. And he wears a pendant with a gold set of scales as a symbol. Oh, look at that. Oh, maybe there could be a... Anyway, uh, hello. Good uh, good afternoon. We got the window. All right, we're inside the thing. Uh, good day to you. Good day to you. We are here to inquire about some uh, ship upgrades, repairs, retrofits, and supply. And you've come to the fucking right place, haven't you? I believe so. Well, that's up to you and your shop's reputation. What are you exactly looking for? Like well, we've, exact... we've just... We've recently become into uh, possession of a new ship, and we wanted to just make sure that it is all ship shape. So is that the new one docked out in the docks? I asked. That's the one. Yeah, it needs work. Oh, aye, it does. All right. Uh, I just out of curiosity, if, as a uh, person of this trade, what would you recommend? Everything from the ground up. All right. Paint what job, everything? New sails. All right. Probably new wood. Mm hmm. We go what kind of business you get into on the seas. Well, we're sort of adventuring types, so, so we, weapons. Uh, weapons would be uh, would be helpful. So yes, cannons, ballistas, 
trying out this, he kind of leans in close, I'm trying to try out this new weapon on ships. It's called an arcane armament. I like the sound of that. I'm, I'm sure my partner here likes it even more. I'm sorry, uh, my captain. Uh, you know, uh, oh, uh, captain, my captain. About, uh, no, no. It, 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 well, you know what, uh, Ash, we're going to uh, put a put a pin in that. I'll, I'll, I'll be back with you in a moment. Yes. Uh, uh, wow, it sounds great. What you're what you're laying down. Uh, we're really interested you you've, you've got the hooks in us my friend what's uh let's uh let's talk uh, uh rich uh upgrade shall we or uh, will you look what kind of upgrade oh uh, nuts to bolts uh, this is sort of uh an inherited uh a ship an inherited piece of shit yeah oh yeah uh, you know what frankly it cast aspersions all you like. I, you know, they say you should love the ship that you captain, but we've inherited this, and I'd, I'd like to. Uh, Why don't you just buy a new one? <laughs> like you can afford it. So, um, what uh? About that. What's uh? What's your uh? What? Hmm. That's a that's an interesting offer. What if? Hmm. I want to cast Detect Thoughts. Okay. Top kind of thought he has is, I wish this person would pick what they want already. Great. Listen, friend, I don't want to be in your hair too long. Excellent. Uh, what I'd love is to uh, to have a conversation about uh, uh, a mutually beneficial relationship between us. Now, what I see is that we have... Uh, an opportunity for expanse and personal growth. Uh, we have the bones for uh, what could be a uh, what I'd like to refer to, and 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 uh, feel free to back me up, Ash Joseph. Uh, uh, what could be a blank canvas for a master artist like yourself? Uh, and and I'm certainly willing to make any sort of a trade you'd be interested in for perhaps something that would suit a crew of we're at eight or nine uh eight a crew of a, a crew of uh eight with uh a, a small room for expanse you know uh you know uh, open seas being what persuasion check what was my that's not a good one. <laughs> I was looking at my portents were today. Oh, oh well, good. <laughs> Fun. Uh, persuasion. Okay, so it's a seventeen. Seventeen. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I could give you a loan ship, a loaner ship. It's uh pretty good actually. Just acquired it. Uh, well, it kind of leans in real close. Not exactly allowed to divulge this information on this continent, you know, because it's highly illegal, piracy. But, uh, kind of got this ship. I don't know if you've ever heard of the old pirate queen, Monroe Quigson. Uh, I have, and I want to make sure, I want to see if he's actually how associated he is with her. Like, truthfully, how associated he is with her. How do you, want, how do you plan on doing that? I want to read his thoughts. I'm in there. I'm uh, deep in. <laughs> not a, he, 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 when he thinks of her, he just thinks of a bitch. Like a cold-hearted bitch. Oh, he, he knows her. Since he doesn't like her. Um, okay. Tell me. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this ship, I, I, I've, I've heard of her. This ship was salvaged <laughs> uh, on the continent of Ipshire. Uh, mm -hmm. It was destroyed, kind of smashed up against the rocks. Uh, on a place called Red Dove Island. A bunch of my procurers went out and hauled it in. Uh, she called it the Winner's Kiss. Uh, now, I don't want to sail around on it because, well, I don't want that kind of tension on myself. And because, well, what the ship is tied to. But, uh, yeah, procured her ship. It's kind of hidden somewhere. Secretive right now. Until I can find someone interested in buying it. Or in this case... 
doing favors, maybe. Real quick, since Ogden is currently in his head as he's saying that, does Ogden find? Does Ogden see the thought of where it's currently hidden? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, where where is it hidden? It is hidden in a kind of uh, there's a little island alcove off the coast of the northern ha- half of this continent on the northern half of Esselfire. Uh, and it's near a place called Carmen. Oh, fuck, what's the name of that place again? I haven't done this continent in a while. Um, Carmen Deemheim? It's been a long time, y'all. Um, and uh, I don't have my world book on me. Uh, and it's kind of a sh- it's The ship's kind of hidden away in this, like, cave. Mm-hmm. Surrounded by large pulsating magical crystals and other stuff. Mm. Ash does not know this, so Ash has another idea. Out of, out of curiosity, how uh, you mentioned arcane ornaments. How, um, how much in the way of magical things and upgrades do you offer for uh, ships and the like? How, how into oh, that depends. sort of thing are you? Depends. Uh, I, I, the, the way I can magically kind of enhance ships is I carve kind of runes into the ships. Like mm-hmm. a delicate process. It usually takes me about a week to carve a set of runes into a ship. Mm-hmm. And each set uh, is three runes. Uh, and it's about uh, 500 gold for a set. All right. You gotta, so t- you gotta have- basically tell me at least the, the, the bare minimum logistics of what you want the runes to do. And then I, I'll carve them into the ship. So, uh, forgive me, Captain, I, hadn't, I haven't run this by you, but um, I had a thought that perhaps, would you mind if I, uh, you can veto this at any point? No, no, I, I, here's, here's the thing. Uh, I, I want you to, uh, turning into Jimmy Stewart. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, I want you to, here's what I want you to do. Uh, uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, go, go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, after you, I. I All right. Uh, um, so here's here's the thought that I had was um, so you. Uh, well, we may over the course of our travels uh, come across other abandoned ships or inherit other abandoned ships and um, find them certain in similar ways in a similar fashion to the way you found this ship you're talking about. And as a person who sells ships. You might be interested in, well, we can't sail more than one ship, but you can certainly sell more than one ship. So, uh, you know, if we were to procure ships and return them to you, you could then sell them and add them to your stock, correct? Correct. Would it be possible, is there a... No, I'm not a magical person myself, so I, this is all very theoretical. I don't know how any of this works, but uh, is it possible for you to teach my captain here, who is of magical aptitude, a rune or a combination of runes that one could carve into a ship that would allow you to recall the ship and teleport it to a place of your choosing? Yeah. That's the thing, so. So here's my thought, then. So basically what I do is I carve kind of spells into ships. Mm-hmm. So your uh, magical friend here would kind of need the m- mental requirements to cast such a spell. Mm, okay. So you need to know, basically need to know the spell in order to be yes. able to do it? Yeah. Does Ogden have teleportation circle? I don't. Okay. Is that a spell level you... It is. Good. It's a level f- five, right? All right. Yeah. I I could, but I don't have it. So here's what I do. Uh, there is a spell that teleports just objects too. I can't think of it right now. There is. I think I know what you're talking about. It's a very high level spell, it's, and it's like it's eighth level. And it's like for some reason mm-hmm. only like two pounds or less or something. Oh no, that's the one that like recalls them to your hand. Yes. Yeah, we can, we can also just fucking homebrew a spell, everybody. I was going to say, I don't know why that so, spell is eighth level. Um, anyway. Well, I could teach the caster friend the kind of logistics of the spell. That way he can 
then transcribe the runes over because your wizard friend here would actually need to know the spell first. Right, right. Um, For example, like, I can tell you a fun little secret I did to a pirate ship once. Oh, yeah? I know the glyphs to spells. I can carve them and everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometime someone might want a spell that can instantly kill somebody carved into a gun or something. Like uh, power word kill carved into the barrel of a gun. I I am currently listening. But uh, we are not uh, of that capability right now, are we? No, no, we're not. Uh, we're not. Uh, we're just talking. We're just having a great conversation. Yeah. Well, uh, there is one spell that I've seen our, uh, my captain here do that just uh, gives him a bit of armor, mage armor. It looks mm -hmm. like. Could that be applied to a ship? I don't think. I don't see why not. Mm. All right. All right. Interesting. Interesting. I like this conversation. Um, uh, so I could. Uh, no. No. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was going to say. So the reason I brought up the for, in the first place, just the reason I brought up, and this is uh, to both of you, the idea of that uh, recalling ability is first, so that we could, you know, uh, I don't know that we can necessarily afford that fine ship that you described. Perhaps we could trade for parts of it with our ship currently, but. Uh, if you'd allow us to perhaps go into a certain an amount of debt that we could, you know, achieve by returning ships, if, you, you know, of course you wanted collateral on that debt, you could, of course, place that glyph upon our ship so that you could recall it at any point, should you need to. And then to be removed if we, well, once we have uh, paid back our, our debt. <laughs> Ash is like inventing it. repo. <laughs> yeah, magic re magic ship repo. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Actually, here's the, here's the deal. Then here's my half of the deal. I'll give you. I'll loan you a ship for free. And if the loan isn't paid back in, let's say six months, I'll recall the ship. No matter where you are in the world, should you be sailing in the middle of the ocean, that might be a little problematic. That would, that would be a bit problematic, yes. But debts are debts. Uh, now I, I've got to ask, uh, just just for clarification, as we are a, uh, shall we say, uh, uh, wide and far travelers, uh, we have. Um, uh, had flights of fancy in which we were detained for two years in another, uh, in an unreachable capacity. Now, uh, I'm wondering if that would null and void this contract or if that would, uh, or if we'd have to wait for that very specific instance to have another, uh, enlightening conversation. <laughs> I'm good at collecting debts. Oh, well, that is uh, extremely ominous. Uh, I want it should be. I want him to. I want to. I want to know what he's thinking when he's just collecting debt. It's he like has no. He he has no issue traveling to other planes. He can do so easily. Great. I, just to, just to be clear, this wasn't me trying to. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, skip out on a debt. I understand. No. Great. Uh. That's it. I think names are in order if we're going to go into, let's say, business <laughs> together. My name is Durgan Clawstroke. Uh, Ogden Boone, acting captain, uh, man in charge of what's happening. That works. Looks at Ash. Uh, Dustin. Call me Dustin. Right. Usually wear disguises, Dustin. Usually, yeah. Cool. He looks he's just looking at all of you. His eyes are glimmering a little bit as he's looking at all of you. Yeah, why is he why is he looking? What's his, what's he thinking? <laughs> uh well I know what he's thinking. It's like, he's con the same. it's like he's concentrating on a spell or something. It's like a spell that I had pulled on Justin on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That was so good. Um, 
And you guys are just looking around. All right. Well, um, so we talked about the possibility of uh, the teleportation circle yes. spell. Mm -hmm. um, would uh, 1,500 gold cover a spell scroll of that? Yes. I would like to purchase one for my captain. Right. What's the what's the spell? What's the spell? Teleportation circle. Oh, great! So, so, oh, so then I pulls can out read a, it and learn he, it. He pulls yeah. out like a he. He just walks over to Ogden Boone, puts his hands on his on the side of Ogden Boone's head. <laughs> he's humongous. Yeah, he's he's seven foot two. He's got big hands. No, it's like, like big, <laughs> big. He's like, this isn't gonna hurt, and he's gonna cast a homebrew spell that he has. Transfer knowledge. And <clears throat> I know Kung Fu. You know uh, teleportation circle without needing to uh, basically spend any time writing it in a, in a spell book. Whoa, it's in my brain. Yeah. And he's like, okay. 1200 gold. 1200? All right. Or whatever, how much you said. I said 15, but I'll give you the. I'll give you 15. Yeah, let's do 1200. All you right. seem like kind folk. Well, I um, appreciate that. A shipwright. Oh, well. I have a lot of shipwrights, a lot of friends. Uh, Y'all seem kind of familiar, but I like it. You got familiar faces. Someone might. I mean, I think someone I know might, might have talked about you at some point, but whatever. Hmm. No lot of shipwrights. All right. Trying well, to, I, I want to know, like, do I, will, okay, I think this is probably the last, I, this has been more than a minute, probably. So I oh, it's been way more than a minute. Oh, well then, oh. yeah, I'm, I'm out, I'm out the brain. <laughs> um, when you learn teleportation circle, I think you get, like, yeah, two. that's circle. correct. Would one of them be our, the mansion back on? Yes. The, that's a fiend island right yeah. now. So I'm... you you yeah, so one of the circles is the archway in the basement of the house on Red Dove Island. Mm hmm And the other one I'm gonna roll for randomly. Oh. Motherfucker. <laughs> no! No! Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh because I have a note of all my teleportation circle locations. That's fucking funny. A place called the Grand Library, or the Grand Arcanum, in a place called Soul Spire Academy. A big library, you say? Yeah. In the Soul Spire Academy, a school for magic users. That's kind of fun. And it's, uh, yeah. Do I know that instantly? Yeah. You know where it leads, but you don't know much about the school because you're not from that continent. <laughs> but I, I know where I know it. I know it. I have the knowledge that it leads to a, a huge yeah, library, uh, a magic school on the continent of a nun deal. Uh, Ogden Boone starts break dancing. I'm just doing the worm performance right? check. <laughs> you do it, but it just looks rather. It's just kind of not a worm. It's just like you're gyrating on the ground. Ah, do you feel it? Do you feel it? Do right. You feel the groove. Um, so here's the deal. Ah, oh. oh, sorry, sorry. Start brushing. <laughs> uh, um. I'll carve one glyph into your current ship. If you retrieve enough ships for me, let's say. Actually, you know what? Better deal. If you can find the winner's kiss, I'll give you the map for it and everything, the location for it. You find it, you can borrow it on loan. Once that debt is paid off by collecting other ships, you can keep the winner's kiss. And that debt will be, let's say, well, we're talking about a very powerful, we're talking about a potent ship, renowned, 500,000 gold. You're selling me ships. 
those cost a lot of money. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't take too long to cover that debt in six months. Uh, I, w- I was going to pursue a bit. How much is that in rubies? <laughs> Don't worry. No. Uh- oh! <laughs> Uh, when he did, you know what? For the sake of making things better, if you allow it, Caleb. Tell me. If you want to keep the bit going, I'm 100% okay with it. <laughs> he could also also transfer over knowledge of currency. <laughs> God, I've turned I've turned into the freaking scarecrow. Ah, never mind. It's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> I get it. All right. Um, <laughs> he finally gets it. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Could you? Uh, uh, I've been I've been thinking about this for a while. You were saying about adding uh, glyphs. Yeah. I was wondering if you could add a, a glyph into the central mast of a ship for us. It'll take me a week because I they always they always come up in the glyphs are always in sets of three. You know, uh, we'll uh, we'll be here a minute. I think we're trying to do some kooky stuff, but uh, yeah, because you you don't know you guys are also going to that treasure place, the the, mm-hmm. the for like oh yeah yeah because you thought there might be stuff there that might help with the fungal chart. Mm-hmm. That'll take up a considerable chunk of time walking there mm-hmm. and coming back. So a week it'd probably take you maybe about a week to get that trip all done and over with anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That and uh, I, I, I have um, I have an idea, and I uh, whisper something into his ear. Okay, uh, I'll send that to you. Excellent. So, uh, he also kind of unfurls a map and hands it to Ogden Boom. It's a map to the Winter's Kiss location. The northern half of the continent of uh, the northern half of the continent of Esselvar, the current continent you're on. Uh, and he'll whisper back in your ear, Ogden, and just say, "I can do that." Perfect. Uh, but it does. Then- it, uh, it, it does cost money, but. We'll say because we'll say this is covered. We'll be we'll be covered as part of the debt. Oh well, uh, uh, that's uh, terrifying and wonderful. Thank you. You said six months. What? To to cover that debt? Six oh yes, yeah, six months to cover the debt. It should be fine if you're collecting ships. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, curi- really quick, just out of curiosity, um, the piece of shite that we uh, rolled in on on the out on the docks. How much would you pay us for that? Thousand gold. So you need five hundred of those over six months. Yeah. So basically, maybe go for nice ships. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. And uh, and yeah. Uh, the what is the value that, of? You see the uh, you see the Scarlet Banner ship in the bay right now. Mm-hmm. I really want that one. But that Scarlet Banner we're talking about. I'd pay two hundred fifty thousand for that ship. It's big. It's got a lot of firepower to it. And if, but there's no way eight of you could maybe steal that thing. Who knows? You could. I don't know any of your capabilities. I've got the perfect plan. Everybody, shut up! Shut up! I've got I've, lightning no, just hit my brain. Everybody, talking. bring it in. Everybody, bring it in. I'm not bringing it in. I'm a businessman. And I can make you an accomplice. So I have knowledge now that I can pass on to friends of mine. And I can repo that ship right to you, my dude. Yeah. I can, in fact, repo it right to that hiding spot where you have... Uh, the Winter's Bone. What was the name Winter, of the ship? Winter's Kiss. I just gave you the map for it. Thank, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, yes, I, I Right, you're right, you're right. I prefer you don't send a ship with people still on it. You know what? That is, that is probably... Yeah. Yeah. 
okay, here's my plan. Here's the breakdown. We throw a big party. We get them all off the ship. I have friends of mine carve into the side of it for at least eight straight hours. Then it gets moved to the different location. Then we do a swips a doodle. They take forever. They make their own new ship. Cause they're like, what happened? What happened? We don't know. And, uh, you get a new ship, we get half our debt paid, and everyone's, ooh, coming out uh, on the plus side. It'd be a good plan, but uh, that ship did just sail, that ship, ship did sail away earlier today. Oh, uh, Now that I remember. Damn it. Yeah. Damn As it. you guys were approaching, it was sailing away. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we're going we're gonna to back pocket. Back, you know, it's not, not going to be hard to track down. It's the only Scarlet ship left in the... It's the only big kind of warship left in the Scarlet Banner's Armada. All right, well then... Um, so, I mean, if you take if you all take that ship out, I mean, the Scarlet Banner will be kind of fucked. And a lot of people, at least in Ipshire, don't aren't too fond of the Scarlet Banner. They don't, uh, have, they don't have much power anywhere else on the other continents, but... Ipshire specifically would probably be pretty happy if that happened. Do they have... What is the name of that ship? I don't remember. I'll have to go back through the last episode. Cool. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. And then uh, I'll post that in the uh, group chat. Cool. No worries. Uh, you're great. Uh, well, then uh, I've needlessly spilled my tea everywhere. Um, so <laughs> hopefully... Uh, our business will keep us friends. Uh, speaking of which, while we're here, uh, Captain, are there any other spells you were interested in learning? Interested in learning? I mean, uh, the infinite pursuit of knowledge is, is something that I'm always up for. Complete the right. debt and I'll teach you more. Perfect. I'd also, I mean, I, I can pay for another. Complete the debt, and they'll give you more. So, okay, so we can't pay for any more? Nope. All right, fair enough. All right, well, uh... This let, me, been... uh let me trust you a little bit more. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Great, and your name no. was? We didn't get your name. Uh, it's, uh, I did, I said it's Durgan. Durgan. Claustro. No mail lines, no one's... Nope. No one's here by that name. Uh, sorry. Uh, Insight check? He's verbally speaking out loud, and it's not, it's, he's, yeah, he's just verbally speaking out loud to somebody that's not there. Oh. Sorry. Uh, I, I'm still not mastering this one thing. Okay. All right. Well, uh, all right then. Uh, you, you did say Malon, yes? Yeah, I did. What about it? We may have a mutual acquaintance. Oh, interesting. Who? Oh. <laughs> Malon. No, they even had a mutual acquaintance with him. Oh, I've got a, a good friend in him. Well, a friend who... I shifty eye, look at him and go, oh shit. A friend who punched me in my eye, as you can see. Another black eye would have faded by now. It's been a while. Has it? Yeah, it's been a couple days to get here from... Yeah, we said to sail, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know, I am partially responsible for his current position in his per personal uh, current professional position. What's that? Off the top of my head, I can't remember. I just remember that, uh, you know, he said that I helped him uh, get... I significantly helped him in his career. Yeah. Well, all the shipwrights know each other really well. Even Giles. Because Ash, uh, Ash is the one that was just like, Lef, sh screw it, let's make Malon an organization leader. Uh huh. Perfect. Well, um, this has uh, been illuminating, and uh, yeah, I think I think we've 
concluded everything here. Uh, so we'll inherit a ship with a target on its back and we'll get you uh, everything. So just we'll, we'll just pull that in here and you'll do the old carver on her. Yep. Perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah, I think uh, 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 <coughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll go. Perfect. So, but your quest. Yeah. Do you yeah, want yeah. that on the ship of the docks or the ship that you're going to get? Uh, I mean, the ship we're going to be using would be preferable. All right, so bring it back here whenever you get it. Mm hmm. And it'll take a week to make the carvings. Oh, yeah, so much time. Oh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. All right, well, best we'll do of it. luck then. Perfect. Wondrous. And he goes back to polishing this kind of flintlock pistol that have glyphs all over it. I, I, uh, by the way, I have a friend who would love some of your pistol magic. That sounds inappropriate. I may, uh, no innuendo intended. Uh, uh, yeah. I have a, well, I've carved a fireball, fireball spell into this gun. Oh, uh, well, uh, ding, ding. Uh, but it's all, mine. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, we're going to uh, go now. Uh, 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 when you guys uh, on your way here, would you all happen to see any businesses that were doing a little too well? Too well? Yeah. I mean, I'll have to go ships, into my mind. Ships, maybe, that were doing too well. Yeah, never mind. Just uh, get the I fuck mean, out of here. Go have fun. I I could do a memory perception. I guess or I don't know what that would be. Yeah, just go have fun. Okay, well, uh, you're the wrong right. kind of people. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we'll uh, we'll keep talking. Have a great day. Thanks. All right. All right. You guys leave the ship right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, back to I guess back to the other group then. Eclipse, Leah, and Henry. What are you guys up to? Um. You would know that Ash and the rest of the party went to the ship, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, we would, would we know that where they are? Yeah, you knew they went to the opulent local. So we'll try, We'll I guess we'll amble mm -hmm. in that direction. All right, well, yeah. to make this life easy for everybody, you guys easily bump into each other, because these, is, these are all kind of situated in the same kind of district, yeah. all the shops. And there's still a bunch more shops to look around at. There's the Jelly and Eel, a bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, there you are, uh, Ogden. Uh, yeah, this you is a see, you see, from... carrying this big kind of purple vase with glowing eldritch kind of glyphs swirling around it. Oh, uh, vase! Oh, vase! Uh, this is apparently a gift from Baxter to you. Oh, it's a vase. Yeah. Um. Uh Henry didn't seem too interested, so you're really the only other person who... Well, it's not that I wasn't interested. I just was, uh... I just didn't want to step in, step in on any toes. I know that, uh, uh Mr. Boone here is, uh, a, 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 an expert in, uh, artifacts and such of the like. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's kind of the reason, uh, Bex just sent in decide for you. Great. Uh... I can keep holding it if you want if it makes you uncomfortable but like no, no, can no, you just uh, like tap it for a second so we can say it did get to you uh no absolutely not uh All right. wait, hold on hold on uh let me uh could i find a four uh sizable uh not sizable tiny sized uh rocks yeah great uh, i'm gonna this is made of cobblestone so it's easy just to find like loose pieces of stone uh, I'm going to cast uh, a Tiny Servant on, uh, let's see, uh, let's see what level. Uh, I'm going to cast it on, uh, at fourth level, Tiny Servant. Okay. So I have uh, three animated cobblestones with little arms and legs. Okay. And they're, and they're going to come to life come to my feet um uh you there uh stones uh could you help me with this vase please they scurry over to the vase 
Eclipse sets it down on their like reaching arms. Okay. Uh, just uh, imagining the little suit sprites, suit sprites from Spirited Away. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Great. Uh, awesome. I want to observe it and look at it and yeah. uh, it's a purple take it vase on. with that yeah, kind of eldritch colored greenish, blackish kind of uh, runes and glyphs kind of swirling around it. Mm-hmm. Quick question, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As Henry looks at the glyphs, can he discern any meaning from them? Nope. <laughs> All right, so he looks at, so like they they don't like they don't mean anything. They're not like writing in any specific he knows language. Of. He wouldn't need to know of it. Exactly. Still no. Okay, so still okay. Yep. So his magic ability to read does mm-hmm. not apply. Okay, oh. got it. Uh, I I guess uh, I'd love to spend the time to cast identify, but it's like eleven minutes, so I can do that uh, back at the ship. Uh, 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 all right, now, uh, uh, little cobblestoneman, uh, uh, take this back to the, uh, the captain's, the acting captain's, uh, quarters, and, uh, I want you to guard it for the next eight hours, if anyone, uh, uh, the tiny, so much. The tiny, there's like a, it looks like there's like a little shake, <clears throat> and the tiny servants just kind of go inert, and are no longer tiny servants, they're just cobblestones again, and the vase is just sitting on the ground again. I didn't want it to break, so I grabbed it. Oh god, I'm touching it. Uh, Henry, as you keep kind of looking at this vase yeah. and everything, he's looking at it, trying to just decipher what these eldritch runes might mean. I need a <laughs> wisdom saving throw. Oh dear. Oh, then I can, I can hold it if it makes you uncomfortable. I'm already touching it. Why am I touching Ogden? it? Ogden? Here, I'll take it from you. You feel like you can't part with it currently. Uh, Ogden, let go of the base. I can't. 24 on that wisdom <laughs> saving throw. 24. You will take a lo- uh, of an effect of madness. Oh, dear. Oh, no. I, you, see, to... you see invisible butterflies everywhere, and they're, like, everywhere. Like, it's a swarm. It's, like, in your face. Okay. Quick question. Yeah. Because it's important for how I play this. Do both of them see it, yep. or does only both, both Henry see it? Both of them. Both okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you seeing this? Uh, yeah, I'm seeing it. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh. All right. Oh, interesting. Interesting. That's an effect. All right. Uh, I've never heard of a face that does this. Hmm. Mm. All right. They're saying this out loud. Okay. God, it's uh, Ogden, I'm again. gonna, I'm nope. gonna try to peel nope. your finger off. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, I cradle it into one hand and tuck it under my arm. It feels like something kicks from inside of it, <clears throat> like <clears throat> like a baby, just a little. <sighs> but only you feel it, Ogden. Well, uh, 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 well, we've, um, this, uh, uh, treasure has, uh, uh, made my magic inert and, uh, has decided to, to kick. So, uh, um, I, I think, uh, I think it's time for a drink. Anybody else on that? To the pub, then. Monkfish comes out, like, you see Monkfish open the, the the door of the jelly to which is literally just, like, a f- ten paces to the left. He's like, hey, you fucks. Come on in. And he turns the door and just goes back inside, stumbling all over the place. Uh, I cast Tiny Servant on those cobbles again. Doesn't work. And I... Do I lose a spell? Yeah. Well, shit. Uh, uh, no. It's almost like the spell just doesn't, like, bubble up. Like, oh. you can't, just can't get to it. You keep, uh, for some reason, your brain is going to other thoughts, like, oh yeah, that'd be a good recipe to try baking sometime. I wonder what color 
my underpants are today. There's a is bunch this? of weird, like, thoughts racing through your mind right now. And then one thought is, a drink would be great. Oh, no. And none of this happened to Eclipse while she was nope. holding it? Nope. Okay. And you guys don't know this is happening to Ogden, so... Oh, shit. Uh, oh, well, then that, that will change, yeah, uh, the, the RP of this. Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, you know, it's surprising. Uh, uh, gather around, everyone. Gather around. Uh, uh, the important thing to note here is uh, the cobblestones, actually, uh, uh, though uh, a newer affectation, actually uh, are surprisingly uh, inefficient at making the road uh, easy to travel on. I imagine that maybe in the future there'll be some sort of a flatter, more compatible way to 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 pave an entire. You know, trees um, are kind of like the opposite of people, where they're really helpful, but they're only in one place, and people are not so helpful, and they move everywhere. What the hell is he talking about? Uh, 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 I don't are know you all right? at all. You know, I'm feeling good. Just starts drumming on the top. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling uh, feeling. Uh, <laughs> I'm feeling nice uh, about what's happening. Uh, shall we uh, get a orange whip? Orange whip? Orange whip? Orange whip? By the way, everyone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we just uh, the captain made a deal with a shipwright just a minute ago. Y'all, y'all remember the pirate queen? The the one that murdered me and then was later killed by noose about six seconds later. Yeah, that one. Uh, yes, very fun. We got a map of, we got a, we got a map to her ship. It's still afloat? Uh the shipwright apparently fixed it. Uh we've got it. Ooh, afloat. And then I try and do a magic trick to hide the map. It falls to the ground and I pick it back up. <laughs> uh yeah, so we've got this on loan. Uh we can pay it back by teleporting ships to the shipwright to pay it off. We've got six months or he'll repo it. I mean I guess it's better than the failed sycophant. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a turd ship. Yep. So uh, also he also he can do all sorts of weird magical enhancements to ships, and so we can if we pay off the debt and repo him some ships, he'll do cool stuff to our ship, and we've got a fancy new one. And you know, if we at the end of six months, if we haven't paid it back, well, we're back where we started basically. So yeah, yeah, I, I that was my. Uh... My thoughts as well. Hey, forget it. Uh, also, Eclipse, uh, that guy's got a special gun. Uh, you guys would get along swimmingly. Uh, Leah, how you feeling? Uh, I think you are quite better than I am, Ogden. Oh, I'm just feeling all sorts of things. Me and Jari are buying the first round of drinks. Sco! Is that what an orange whip is, Ogden? Oh, yeah, it's a special drink. Uh... Uh, there's legends of these two blue brothers who really enjoyed uh, drinking it. And here I thought it was uh, Noose's weapon of choice. Oh no, that's a snake whip. That is poisonous and terrifying. You're right. I'm gonna just start. Uh, come on, let's uh, let's go grab a table. Just looking oddly at Ogden, like just wondering what going on okay do you ever wonder what's going on inside people's heads oh no i never have to wonder i can just and i cast uh, detect thoughts on eclipse yeah the spell doesn't work again <laughs> doesn't waste a spell slot but just you can't get it to bubble up <laughs> weird i now i'm starting to wonder because i usually don't have to wonder i can just do it ogden Let's wisdom saving throw got it How much? How, how much do I love this jar now? Quite a lot. I'll let it happen. Oh, what's happening? Oh, well, I guess. Well, okay. Let's let chance happen. I was gonna let it happen, but if I love the jar, oh! it's a natural one anyway. <laughs> you feel compelled to go into that bar. Let's go! I start leading the way, just dancing with the jar. I'm just gonna keep my eyes on Ogden. Sure. Everybody else following? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You guys go in to the jellied eel, and behind the counter, you see a humanoid eel, incredibly slimy, wearing a maroon-colored frock coat with a black ascot, gray waistcoat, and a beige button-up shirt. Wears tan trousers with navy blue suspenders and a pair of black wingtip leather shoes. Well, you don't see that every day. 
No, you don't dare, don't you? That's the evil oh. guy talking. Oh, uh, 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 hail and well met, uh, my friend. Hello, I'm Glamellis. Oh, Glamellis, uh, uh, lovely to meet you. Uh, Ogden Boone, uh, interim captain, uh, man in charge of what's happening. Uh, I have... Uh, That's a nice jar you got unconscious. Okay, hey, looks like... Uh, like he's just falling. He just kind of slumps over and <sighs> snoring on the counter. I'm going to... Uh, this uh, this has just become a self serve bar. I put yeah. A lot, I, there's other patrons inside. They're kind of just leaning over the counter and just pouring their own drinks, and they're just kind of going back to sitting down. And they raise a glass to you and they take a drink. I uh, I put uh, ten gold down in front of the sleeping uh, okay in front of the sleeping uh, uh, eelman, and I grab everyone drinks and just give right. everyone cups. You guys can find a very spacious table kind of in the back. Enough room for it, the entire crew in here currently. Is is he okay? Oh, he's fine. Probably. This is, he's snoring. This is does that happen a lot? Nope, but he's snoring, so it's fine. All right, if you say so. We're the, we're the newcomers here, so we'll trust your judgment. Okay. And this one is an orc with no arms. He's just kind of like drinking with his mouth, just kind of like picking up the cup, tilting it back, putting it down. Uh, I want to cast Mage Hand to help him drink. Doesn't work. Doesn't waste a spell slot, or uh, Mage Hand's a cantrip. But, uh, yeah, nothing happens. That I'll said, did you guys go to the table? Mm-hmm. Right, I'll get so. you my ne next time, my dude. Ogden Boone, I need another wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, that is... Uh, 23. You feel compelled to tie a piece of string around the doorknob of the tavern. Like the front oh, door. Oh, dear. I start to tie. Hey, uh, guys, uh, uh, watch my drink. And I, like, slide over. Okay. He's going to walk tie. with Ogden to the door. All right. Yeah, he's just holding the... Oh, uh, could you put your uh, finger here? Thank you. You see he's holding... He's got the vase under one arm, and he's, like, digging for, like, a string. He's kind of starts to, like, loop it around the doorknob. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, put, put your finger right there for me, Ikla. Yeah, Thank yeah. Uh, you. How's this? Uh, perfect. Oh, it's a, it's beautiful. Yeah, uh, Silgarian knots are yeah. classically <laughs> mediocre. Hey, Ogden, are you are you feeling all right? Yeah, never yeah. felt better. Dexterity saving throw as you keep slapping on this jar. Uh, I okay. <laughs> are they earning vase vase? God. Uh, okay. That is a five. <laughs> All right. You drop it and it shatters into pieces. And lying on the floor, it emits the debris of the vase. Oh no, don't crap out on me now, internet. Cool. It's just a piece of pulsating flesh. How do I feel about the flesh? You want to protect it at all costs. I pick it back up, put it in my arm. It's like you, you want to cradle it like a baby almost. Make sure it's oh, safe. Absolutely. Oh, football, yes. Right up here. And it Start. starts to sprout hair. Okay. Start, uh, start like, <laughs> patting it, but still with the same energy of, like, <laughs> patting on the thing. But, like, okay. Uh, okay. And is anybody else weirded out by the Ketsuo hair, here? The hair starts to grow, like, longer and wild <laughs> and unkempt on this lump of meat. Yeah. And then the meat starts to, like grow out and form into the body of a nude, wild-haired, kind of unkempt-looking human man who's in his maybe late or mid-30s. And that's where we're going to take a break.